Hey, it's Miss Alana here behind the camera. And in this video, we're going to learn some math. We're going to actually take some notes. So what I need for you to do is get what supplies. You will need your graphing notebook and a pencil. So we're going to write all of this down. No, don't try to write it down now. I need for you to make sure you listen to this lesson and not just copy it down so you do understand. I will be asking you some questions about it in class tomorrow and every day after that. Maybe not every single day, but you need to make sure that you know these. And guess what? You will need these in middle school, in high school, and even in college. All right. And you know what? Even as a grown-up, because these are some key words that we're going to be talking about for math. All right, so get your graphing notebook and a pencil, and let's start with the title. So go ahead and write the title at the top. The title is what? Writing and Interpreting Expressions. Okay, so we are going to learn how to write and interpret expressions. So let's start with a vocabulary word, and what's the vocabulary word you see there? Expression. And go ahead and read that with me. It says, an expression is a combination of numbers and operation signs. All right, let's read that again. An expression is a combination of numbers and operation signs. So what operations do we have? There are four. What are they? We have adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. All right, so aside from the keyword expression, the vocabulary word expression, what other keywords or vocabulary words might you see? All right, maybe combination. What does a combination mean? That means combine, that means put together. What else do you see? The word numbers. And what else do you see? Operation signs. Okay, expression, expression, ah, expression, ah. Oh, all right. Now, here, if you notice, I made a chart with how many different boxes? There are four different boxes. Now, what you can do in your graphing notebook is you can make a chart just like this. You can make a chart, and that's what's perfect with those lines that you have in your graphing notebook is you can just draw them on the lines. Now, if you notice, I have like a four square. You see there's like one right here, another one. Oh, it's like weird, Miss Alana's hand coming through the screen. All right, right there, and then there's another one. If you want to do four going that way, like one, two, three, four, you can do a chart like that. Or if you don't want to do a chart and just make a list um, going down, you can. All right, now in this list, we have, what do we have? The four different operations. We have addition, we have subtraction, we have multiplication, and we have division. Okay, and what else do you see in this chart? We see keywords. So there are keywords in this chart for each of the operations. What that means is if you see any of these words right here, they would signify, they would represent the different operations. So let's start with addition. All right, let's look at addition. Whenever you see these keywords, these probably mean you're going to have to add. All right, so let's read that together. What do we have? And go ahead and write this down. More than the sum of increased by the total of combined with. All right, let's read that again. Your keywords for addition. More than the sum of increased by the total of combined with. All right, moving on. What is our next operation? Subtraction, bam, right there. Make sure you spell that correctly. And let's read and go ahead and write the keywords for subtraction. We have minus, fewer than, subtracted from, decreased by, the difference of. So let's read that all again together. Subtraction, keywords, minus, fewer than, subtracted from, decreased by, the difference of. All right, so we've talked about adding and subtracting. What is the next operation we have? Multiplying, multiplication right here. So go ahead and write that down, multiplication. And we have three terms for that. We have times multiplied by the product of. So anytime you see those words, key words, you know you need to multiply. Read it again. 
times multiplied by and the product of. Moving on to our last operation, what is that? Division, bam, right there, division. So here we have three different ones. Let's read those key words, key phrases, partitioned into equal groups. Let's read that again, partitioned. And you see the keyword part. Partition means put it in uh, different parts. Partitioned in, into equal groups, split into equal groups, shared equally by. So let's read our division key phrases, key words again. Partitioned into equal groups, split into equal groups, shared equally by. All right, so make sure you wrote all this down in your notebook nice and neat. You can either, like I said, make a four square like that, do the square, um, the box is going sideways. If you want to make a list going down, you can do that. So let's review real quick. What is an expression? An expression is a combination of numbers and operation signs. And what are those signs? Adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. How many operations do we have? Four, bam, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And those are your keywords. So whenever you are solving problems, if you find those keywords, that will give you the clue of what operation you would have to do. All right, so make sure not only do you need to write this down, but go ahead and study these because I will ask you questions about it in class. So thumbs up if you are done. All right, cool. If not, go ahead and watch the video again or pause the video and go ahead and write those down. Watch it again and learn, learn, learn. Love you.